So James, what gets you up in the morning? Black coffee. So I love waking up and I literally get so excited about my first black coffee of the day. Whoop. And what helps you sleep better at night? What helps me sleep better? Switching Second floor. Switching off from work early. So making sure that you get that hour to just chill out when you get home. I think if you end up working too late, your brain's still buzzing. My old man used to say to me, if you've got a Ferrari, you're driving 100 mile an hour, guess what? You've got to slow the Ferrari down before you park it in the garage. It's exactly the same with us. Make sure you've got some time to chill out and do something that's totally non-work related, I would say. Are you a tea or a coffee man? Coffee. Black coffee, no sugar, no milk, all day long. How do you keep yourself motivated? I think you've got to set yourself big, exciting goals. That's what keeps you motivated. Having something that you're always excited about or you're always aiming for. So they, that you should have some short-term ones in there. So get, you know, set something on a Monday to get excited about. And then I would also set quarterly goals as well. So every three months, new goals, new things to get excited about, new things to get buzzing about. I think that's what keeps people motivated. Tell us what it's like running a team. I love it. 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 It can be tough because you're managing different personalities, different types of people, and people need to be managed differently. Sometimes people need a bit of a kick. Sometimes people need a cuddle. So it's, it's difficult because you're trying to recognise who needs a kick and who needs a cuddle at any one time. But I love it. I love seeing other people do well. It's my favourite thing about the whole job. The money's irrelevant, the job title's irrelevant, all of that stuff doesn't matter. It's just watching these people come in. Like with the interns we've got in here, watching them grow, watching them change, watching them develop. That's what gives me the biggest buzz about running a team. I think you just answered the next question, but what's your favorite thing about the job? Running a team. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite thing about- Hello, Look at yeah. these ads. <laughs> He's my favorite thing about running a team. Oh, Seeing this man try. do well. Do Seeing try. this man. And then we're, <laughs> we weren't supposed to go there. I was going to say, put then, a smile on your then, face. The CB. month after, he had a record month ever. Yeah. And that is why I love running a team. Seeing, all thanks to seeing you. that. No, not all thanks to me. I'm not <laughs> saying that. Not even for one second I'm saying that. Yeah. Maybe I had 1%. 1% in it. Uh, I'll take a bit of credit as well. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. <laughs> so, James, tell us in three words how you would describe your job. Totally. Fucking awesome. <laughs> and apart from me, what makes you smile every day? Apart from you, <laughs> what makes me smile every day? Um, I love the buzz of an office. I love it. I love feeling that energy. In, in here we have something called power hours. So a few times a day, everyone gets up and gets on the phone at the same time. Why do we do it? Creates a buzz, gets people feeling good but it's also easier for the new starters to then get on the phone if they're feeling a bit nervous, they're a bit shy. If everyone's on the phone at the same time, it's easy. So those, that makes me smile every day for sure. What is something that you do every day without fail, apart from Tina Turner in the morning? <laughs> um, something I do every day without fail. I exercise most days because I feel much, much better when I've got up and I've done something positive, like I've worked out. Working out in the morning for me is great. Endorphins get flowing, you feel good, more likely to make healthier choices throughout the day. I don't see the point in working out at night, I don't get it. Why would you do something to feel good for the next six hours, but you're going to bed two hours after? Seems pointless, but I don't do that every day, so I'm not sure if that's good. I mean, I go back and look at my goals every single day. So every day I'll revisit, why am I doing this? What am I doing it for? What are the reasons? What's, what am I getting excited about? That's something that I do every single day for sure. You Speak to my dad first thing in the morning. I do that every single day, 5.30, bang on. Do that every day. Get my instructions for the day. And what is the first thing you do when you wake up? Go and get a black coffee or a sparkling water, I guess. Do you find your job stressful? No, no, I love it. Get paid for talking to people, it's not stressful. It's not, you know, not a rocket scientist or... What is your favorite food? My favorite food, my absolute favorite food is spaghetti bolognese. With garlic bread, with cheese. I make such a banging spaghetti bolognese. 
Come for a little glass, I'm not drinking at the moment, but before a little glass of red wine, go with it, that's nice. I make a good spaghetti bolognese, really, really good. Tell us something about yourself that would surprise us. That would surprise you. Tell you something that would surprise you. When I wake up in the middle of the night, my brain starts going a hundred mile an hour and I can't get back to sleep. Does that surprise you? Like, I start buzzing when I wake up. What do you do? How do you get I really, that? really struggle. It's awful, awful. I start thinking of all the stuff I've got to do. I get excited for the day. I start, I, I literally start buzzing the second I wake up. So this morning, for example, my middle son, Luca, was shouting two o'clock in the morning, Danny, 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 I want some milk. So I had to go downstairs, walk downstairs, get some milk, heat it up in the microwave for a minute, take it back up. By that time, I'm buzzing. Don't know if that surprises you or not. So do you go back to sleep or do you start the day? I went back to sleep about four o'clock and then got up at half past. So yeah, I struggle with that. It's quite surprising. If I don't wake up, I'm absolutely fine. So if nothing yeah. wakes me up, then I'm absolutely perfect. But if I wake up or if I get woken up, that's it, yeah. game over. Your body clock's probably thinking, go, 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 go. go the moment go, you go, get go. up, you're like. Yeah, go, 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 go. And last but not least, what would you say to anyone who wants to work with you? What would I say to anyone who wants to work with me? I think you have to be, you've got to be able to take a bit of banter, because I like that. I want to have fun when I work. I don't want, you can see it from walking through, I don't want this place to be a library. I want it to be good fun. I want there to be banter. So don't take yourself too seriously, I would say. Um, it's high energy. I want people to work their absolute socks off when they're in. So it's high energy, hard work. Um, I'm not really the type to micromanage people. So if you're the sort of person that wants to be micromanaged, I'm probably not the right person to work with. I'd rather let you know what we need to get done, what's important, what the priorities are, and then let you crack on. So I guess it's people that can have a bit of fun, have a bit of banter, able to work their socks off in a high energy place, but also um, that we can trust just to let them crack on and, and, and get on with the stuff they need to crack on with. That's what I'd say.